Hi, good morning everyone. We'd like to have a quick look at how one can manipulate layers in, well, more with regards to layer states of XREFs within other drawings. To that end, what you can see on the screen is an AutoCAD file which was opened, initially created from the Civil 3D country kit for the UK and automatically the layer structure of the UK is set out within this AutoCAD file. We've got property filters that isolate or show the layers that are used for alignments, all used layers, assemblies, bridges, building sites and so forward and so on. This is automatically set up by the British for their industry and um, like I said this is done according to the uh, unit class, probably the unit class 2015 um, standards. This is how they name their layers and that's great. And in addition to that they have also set up some layer states. Now layer states are snapshots of what layers look like. You can change any properties of any layers and create a snapshot of that moment in time within the file and you can switch between them. So they've created one here for only AutoCAD layers, um, editing, Navisworks, export and test. So that is automatically included in the template and this is also embedded within this file. So what I'd like to show you is when you link this file or when you when you reference this file into another file that you will not have access to the property filters however you will have access to the layer states and if you were to want to manipulate the xref with many layers and you need to see it in a specific way within the um, the other drawing then you might consider setting up layer states so you can just toggle the layer states within the containing drawing so we're going to reference this file into another file and then we'll see how that operates all right so here we are in the us file when we look at their properties manager we'll see that they've got lots of uh, layers as well based on their drawing standard unlike the British they do not include property filters for their industry their layering naming standard is a, a lot more uh, simplistic in comparison the UK standard is very complex and uh, they also have layer states which are not created so there's no layer states within the US template and so let's bring in the US f uh, the, the UK file and have a look at what's available to us within our layers so we can attach or reference in the UK file and we can put that down at the origin as an attachment to overlay it doesn't really matter but let's go with attachment that means that the drawing will travel along relative path and then we say okay that now brings in the UK layers into our drawing not just the layers but the drawing itself as an XREF as per usual and at the bottom of the page there we'll see our XREF layers and the question now becomes what what has it done can I see any of the UK property filters no so the property filters don't come across what about the layer states yes the layer states do come across so you can enforce the layer states from the UK and what I would recommend and what you can see they've done is they have used the UK um, designation to illustrate that these are their uh, layer states and you're welcome to use them as well. So this is just something to keep in mind in your BIM execution plan. You can use layer states uh, within uh, normal AutoCAD files. Of course if you have the Civil 3D 
uh, package then you would also see the um, you can you can transfer your property filters so again maybe use UK to identify your property filters and ultimately um, you can transfer them with normal AutoCAD you can do the same but you'll have to use a macro or download a macro just be careful when you do that you don't use um, that you don't transfer viruses to your computer so just virus check those files when they do come in All right so xrefs they do not bring in property filters but they do bring across the layer states if you need help creating property filters or if you need help um, conforming to some of the standard please contact micrographics so that we may be of assistance to you have a great day further and enjoy AutoCAD